Hey, what's up, everybody? This is Gems. Uh, this is the first of a series of insurgency tips and tricks videos, uh, especially related to competitive insurgency. Um, I know there's a lot of other videos out there already that have a lot of great knowledge about this amazing game. Um, definitely check them out. I'll link one. Uh, a friend of mine, Enfiende, has already got a huge library of really, really good tutorial videos. So check the description below for those. Um, also, uh, we're going to have a link to this config. This is my config uh, in the description below. So yeah, you're going to want to click on this link in a paste bin. And you're going to scroll down to this raw paste data, which is just all these different commands that are going to execute when you boot up Insurgency. All right, so you want to hit Control A, select all, or just select it all and copy. And you want to open up Notepad. So I got a blank Notepad document here, and we're going to paste everything in there. And uh, so yeah, I'm not going to go over all the things that are in here. It's actually a pretty heavy config. So if you're just looking to get more frames per second, you're going to want this config because uh, I haven't had better results with any other config. I got this from Grinmore. Uh, who's a teammate and it, it actually I don't think the game looks much worse I don't know I don't really care too much about graphics anymore at this point even though Insurgency is a beautiful game but this is gonna maximize your FPS so if you're looking to get in competitive or maybe you just don't have very good hardware uh, this is gonna help a lot um, and you can look up what each individual thing does and maybe if something bothers you you can kinda go in here and tweak it to your liking um, but this is how I have it and also this is gonna set your rates right here uh, for servers to 128 tick so if you're on 128 tick servers this is gonna make sure that you're getting all the ticks that you're supposed to be getting rather than you know capping yourself and hurting your hit reg so you're gonna go to save as and I already have a shortcut to my insurgency folder but you're gonna want to navigate to your insurgency folder in your steam library uh, for me it's a lot of people you're just gonna find your steam apps folder common insurgency 2 and then insurgency and then CFG folder that's where all your configs are um, so now you're gonna save it you're gonna to want to click here and just do all files because you want it to be a dot CFG so I'm gonna do gems dot CFG or you could just make yours auto exec dot CFG for me you can call it whatever you want but I'm gonna do gems dot exe or not exe dot CFG gems dot CFG I'm gonna save it Boom, so now it's in my config folder. All right, so now what we're gonna do is open up our Steam library, find Insurgency, right click Insurgency, and go to Properties. And in Properties, under General, we're gonna click Set Launch Options. Now this is what's gonna tell the game to boot our config that we just saved into our CFG folder. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna type plus sign, exec, and space and then whatever you named your config so for me it was gems.cfg so that's what that's all we need to have and in launch options you just separate everything by spaces it's kind of weird so if you named it auto exec it would be auto exec.cfg but I named mine gems.cfg it can be anything um, another thing you can add here is you can do a space and do minus sign high now what's that what that's going to do is set the process of insurgency to high priority uh, in your processes so that's just going to make the game run harder and better and faster uh, so hit ok on that and we're going to close that another small tweak that you can do that's going to actually help you across all the games you play uh, that i highly recommend i'm on windows 7 uh, i think this is doable in all windows operating systems not sure you're gonna hit run and then you're gonna run services.msc that's gonna pull up your services uh, which are basically a bunch of windows and other programs that a lot of them start when you boot your computer you're gonna go down to windows sort by name find windows update so windows update by default is gonna boot uh, when you start your computer and it actually uses a good bit of RAM and uh, CPU usage so you're gonna to want to right-click that and then hit properties and then change startup type which it will probably be automatic by default change that to manual so now Windows update will only start when you manually need to update Windows which shouldn't be that often unless something starts breaking but 
that actually can give you up to 20 to 30, maybe even like 60 more frames per second for some people. It, it actually is a pretty big resource hog. So definitely do that. Now we're gonna go into the game here. All right, let's go into my video settings here. So I'm just gonna go over the important ones here. Uh, I, I, I use a uh, field of view 75. I highly encourage you to try it. Uh, you'll be able to see a lot farther and targets will basically just be bigger on your screen. And I think your accuracy will go up um, once you get used to it. Trust me. Uh, scope detail, leave that at very high. Lens effects disabled, soft particles disabled. Uh, shadow quality, very low, low detail. Um, and actually in the config, one very important line is R underscore LOD two. So that's gonna basically do level of detail uh, de degradation. It lowers the level of detail on geometry um, by the maximum amount allowed by most servers is LOD2. That's a really huge part of the config for giving you more frames per second. And again, this is all geared towards high FPS. Effect detail low, multi-core render enabled, uh, anti-aliasing none. Uh, you can turn this on, I think, and if you don't like the little jaggies, uh, some people like having that on it doesn't bother me so I leave it off uh, filtering mode by linear uh, I actually have FXAA anti-aliasing on I'm gonna turn that off I don't know how that got turned on I don't need that uh, <laughs> vertical sync disabled v-sync uh, I, I highly recommend disabling your v-sync uh, motion blur you don't want that leave this page pool memory at high all right so now let's look at my audio settings um, your volume is going to kind of vary, you know, based on whatever your Windows volume settings are and stuff like that. Um, I, I usually run mine at like 60%. Right now I have it lower for the video. But basically you want your gun to be, when you shoot it, it should be pretty loud. Like almost uncomfortably loud. Not You don't want to hurt your ears. But if you want to hear footsteps, you need the game to be really loud. Uh, don't hurt your ears. But louder is better. Um, that's all I'm gonna say about that. Music volume, I have it zero. So I use headphones, but I use two speaker mode rather than headphone mode. I've tested this and I actually think that two speaker mode lets you hear footsteps and quieter things from farther away. I think the reason behind this is the developers know that if you're using two speakers, you're gonna hear a lot less than someone wearing headphones. So I think two speakers actually, uh, everything's a little bit boosted. Um, and when you combine that with headphones, uh, it's actually really, you can hear a lot. I actually think this is a pretty big deal uh, to run two speakers rather than headphone mode while wearing headphones. Um, you know, it's a matter of preference, but I've tested it and I do think it will give you a slight competitive advantage. Uh, my sound quality is high. Some people argue that low is better. Some people like medium. Um, I don't think that's a big deal though, to be honest. Um, you could probably leave it at low if you have a low quality or a low power rig because it's gonna be less strain on your CPU. That's pretty much it. I hope this video helped you uh, try it out. I think you'll be surprised at how much frames per second you're able to get with this setup. And uh, yeah, happy fragging. See you next time. Uh, leave some comments if you have uh, requests for more knowledge videos that I should make. And I'll drop some knowledge bombs on you. Thanks for watching.